Hey everybody, welcome. It's your boy JDays32, and what we got here is 2K15 for the PS4. I just got this game last night. I forgot to download it, and like I was stuck downloading it all day. Besides that, we're gonna jump right into the online and see who we can play up with real quick. Later on, I'll be streaming this game and we're doing recording sessions for YouTube as well, which is at my YouTube channel is JDays32. If you already didn't know, uh, I will be doing. Don't even say it. See, now I got to edit that out my video later. I will be doing live commentary of games, and I will be doing recording my team as a Let's Play series. And my career in my park as well. Blech. But let's get straight to the online. And by the way, I am on anybody who's already in here. I'm on Skype with my girlfriend. You will just hear me having random conversation. It won't end up on YouTube. I'll be editing that out. And like, since I'm since I'm recording from the PS4, it really don't matter. Da 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 da. I want you to be in on it. All right, looks like we got our first game. We got our first game. Let's scroll through right to my favorite team, the LA Clippers. Of course, he chose the Spurs off. Oh wait, let me change my jersey. Let me change my jersey. Let me change my jersey to nautical. My opponent let the match, of course, of course. Should have seen that coming. Let's look for another quick match, quick match. I swear to God, if you laugh at me one more time, little girl, you going to feel my wrath. Yeah, you better use that little paper to cover your face. I can't, I can't say nothing inappropriate for once. I will, too. You better be glad I can't say nothing inappropriate because I don't want to get my stream knocked down for permanently. Okay, how long is it going to take me to find a match? Is there really not a lot of people with PS4 right now? Because I'm me. Okay, right again, right to my favorite team right off the rip. Go with the nautical jerseys, the jerseys they are undefeated in. There was a problem with the online. If you continue, this, this game will not be counted. Really? I'm already not liking how these servers are turning out. Nightbot, are you in here? Yes, yes, you are. All right, hold it. Here, here's a test. Nightbot, fuck you. So let's see. Type it in the chat. Night, fuck you, Nightbot. Nightbot is in chat. You ain't do shit, Nightbot. I just like saying fuck you. No sexual joke intended. The viewer I had just left, but I don't care. He a little... If he didn't want to stay in strength my video, he can kick rock. You don't stay, you ain't my friend. Slap that ass, stick and shake that shit, wiggle that ass. Okay, really, two K. I know, I know your game is new, but y'all better get some better servers. Y'all really need some new servers because I've been waiting too long to find a game already. Let's make it shake and jiggle. I feel like I gotta sneeze. I feel like I gotta sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna. <laughs> Shit. Thank you. God, that hurt. Passes on his ass and his shit can't take it. Don't stop till you break it. Oh. 
Oh, we got somebody. Back to my favorite team, as always. I hope I'm not playing the same guy that I played last night. Of course, you choose the Cleveland Cavaliers because LeBron James is on the team. That is the only reason you chose the Cleveland Cavaliers. I bet. Some dude named Black Dan, and I just realized my microphone is on, so he can probably hear me. But I don't care. Everybody's a giant LeBron James fan, and it pisses me off. Like, LeBron James this. LeBron ain't good. He too overhyped. Don't give me that look. Okay. Okay. Like I said, LeBron James is too overhyped. He ain't that good in my opinion. We've got NBA basketball in store for you. Here at Quicken Loans Arena in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. It's the home. Live on 2K Sports. This is 2K Sports bringing you the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan calling the action with my broadcast partners, Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. So the Clippers win the tip. Here are the five for the Clippers. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. I got to turn my game down. It's way too loud. I have headphones in. Crawford and Barnes filling out the wing. And it's Paul in at the one. Chris Paul, Clark, the driving force behind the Clippers offense. As good a distributor as he is, he's also been probably, I think, their best punch time score. The Perhaps fuck on the ground. The case, but I think Blake Griffin has made big progress in his scoring game over the last season. More assertive, more skilled. I need to zoom my camera in. It is way too far out. I play on eight. Facing, getting to the free throw line, getting better, knocking down free throws as well. I think that's kind of sorry, man. If you hear me pausing the game, I'm streaming, man. I got to do it. I got to. But I had to zoom in. The camera was way too far out. No, he did. He stepped up big. And last season, when Chris Paul separated his shoulder. I think that was when Griffin really asserted himself. That team kept winning. Really good sign for the Clips. And Chris Paul, despite the injury, won the 2013 Los Angeles Sportsman of the Year Award. He grew up in North Carolina and never figured he'd get so far away from home, but he seems to have settled in nicely on the left coast. Spencer Hawes is checked in for Jordan. Paul. That's good on the jump shot. Paul's got five just rip LeBron. So something you couldn't even do in 2K13 or 14. I'm so serious. In 2K13 or 14, you could not rip LeBron James. The game would not allow it. There's Crawford with the Wrong button. Three. Can't get it to go. Nice D from Verishon. And now the Cavaliers. Fast break. James Chris Paul. The oh, Here's dunked on him. Yeah, nice fast break from start to finish, guys. Especially on the back. I don't know if I can rip Kyrie Irving, so I'm not gonna try. Irving is just the Verizon. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. For a team that should have been on them tighter. Around explosive shooters and natural scores, the Cavs had a lot of issues being efficient on offense last season. Like I just love the fact yeah, that I can excel with any player on my team. On oh my gosh, where's the rip call? The there. charge. The kind of on the will kill the team. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. 
That is his first foul of the game. Waiters, he's checked in for James. Damn it, I couldn't see the bar. Well, last year they were bottom five in the league in scoring efficiency. Granted, some of that had to do with the injuries they faced, but still, they've got to improve there. Like, that is not really fair. The fact that, like, that your other player can stand on top of the bar, that you can't see the bar, somebody standing on top of it. He really seems to have tightened up a bit for whatever reason. He looks tight. Yep, I can't see the bar. The little. I gotta. You saw what he can do for any offense. I gotta zoom it out because I can't see the bar. Could a little thing get in the way? Well, he was really the center of that heat, heat offense in terms of its efficiency. And it'll be the same in Cleveland as he gets more accustomed to playing with the guys on that roster and they get accustomed to him. There will be no more bottom of the barrel finishes for them in the offensive categories, that's for sure. All right, baby, you have it. You go. It better not be chocolate. What is it? got his second bucket. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him. Yeah, she said you're going to get ice cream. Get the putback. Reddick is in the corner. Good. It's deflected, and that one's good. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. Yeah, me too, Clark. I think anytime you have success pounding the ball inside, you've got to continue to go to the well. The Clippers in the lead. And it's Paul penetrating. Ooh, that would have been a nice little hand one. statement came from the mouth of CP3 last year when he mentioned that he feels that Allen Iverson was the most influential player ever. Interesting. Most probably would have said Jordan. Oh my gosh, I just got A that. big group substitution here for Cleveland. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Barry Jean. Marion comes in for Kevin Love. Mike Miller's checked in for LeBron. And it's Matthew Delavidova in. Mike Miller went with LeBron to Cleveland? Wow. And then for the Clippers, Davis is checked in for Hawes. And Chris Douglas Roberts subbed in for Barton. Really? So you can't do putbacks like that? That's fucking stupid. The answer started his NBA career, so huge influence. Fuck out of here with that shit. Jordan I don't even care. That just made me mad. That was a putback and they took it away from me. And you look at Chris Paul and Allen Iverson. What similarities do you see in their games? Well, really just size. That's the only thing. Allen Iverson was a speed merchant. Chris has tremendous and deceptive speed, a little stronger, more of a quarterback. AI was just a flat out killer as a sport. I mean, the guy did some amazing stuff for a long time at his size. I mean, he was six feet tall and 150, 160 pounds as all, well and just put buckets on guys like I hadn't seen a small guy do since Nate Archer. And Isaiah Thomas was similar, but a little stronger. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Reddick with the three. Good. And Farmar gets the assist. Della Vidova kicks to Marion. Miller outside. Let's go. And it's off the back rim. No good. And a close game here as we get back. Can you do it with the comments on the screen? I got to take it off. You need the full game. And ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. And the Clippers looking at who they've got. Farmar is out there with Jake. I had the ball. Oh my gosh. And you could you could have stole it. You are a fair player. I have, I appreciate that. The shot by Reddick, no good. Cavaliers trailing. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. Another look now for Cleveland. 
Kevin Love's checked in for Marion. James comes in for Mike Miller. And it's Kyrie Irving in for Matthew Delavidova. Matt Barnes is checked in for the Clippers. Crawford comes in for J.J. Reddick. Back and forth we go. That basket gives us just another lead change. And there welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How, are, how you doing? Contest. Cavaliers should be one of the high points for them in this game. Nah, you ain't powering me down. Well, Jamal Crawford has proven that no matter what role he plays, just call him Buckets. He can flat out Buckets. the ball in the basket. You got to give him a lot of credit, though. He does change his game quite a bit depending on if he's coming off the bench or starting. I think that speaks to his IQ. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Yes, Kevin. Chris Paul, as you know, has accomplished so much in the NBA, but he's ready for that ultimate prize. As Paul said, that's the only <laughs> I didn't know it was you guys. Now, at this point in my career, I'm only focused on building for the postseason because that's where you make your name and that's where you make your imprint on history. He's looking to add to that. See, guys, you make me guys. so upset. You're always eating pizza when I'm streaming, and it makes me so hungry. See that desire on the court. He's so focused. So, timeout called here. The first for Cleveland. <laughs> And as you said with Jamal, a lot of players can't really make that change between being a starter or a sub, but he does it so smoothly in such short time, it really adds a lot of utility to this team. Always come to stream with pizza, and you know damn well I want pizza, Gogs, every time. I didn't pause the game, but just, oh, he paused it. Oh, I thought he was about to quit for a second. The Clippers also changing it up. Griffin comes in for Davis. And Paul subbed in. Why does this guy keep pausing the game is what I'm wondering. He's about to quit. He quit. I made him quit. I love playing people online where I make them quit. It just makes my day. Don't give me that look. Oh, yeah, Gogs, I'm on Skype as well, so if you hear me just go off into a different conversation, it's because I'm talking to my girlfriend on the stream, and she gives me funny looks like she's doing right now. Yeah, you eat that ice cream now, don't you? Dude, I make tons of people rage quit on sports games. That's what I love about playing them. And I'll, I'll even say this. I'm not good at basketball at all. My I'm a soccer player by heart, but I'm not good at basketball. So who am I about to play? I will say this. 2K servers suck. Spell. <sighs> oh, looks like I'm home this time. I can't spell right now. Leave me alone. Dude, I really want Crypt of the Necro Dancer, but it's just, right now, it's just not in the cards. I would stream that for days if I had it. This dude just swipped, swapped out his entire team. I 
I really hope he knows what he's doing. Oh yeah, but Gogs, I have a question about that charity stream. Do we just stream for the time we said we were going to stream for? Say, like, if we stream for 10, it said $100 and that's it's $10 an hour. Do we just stream for those 10 hours or do we actually have to get donates? Like, do we actually have to have people donate at the same time? I'm confused. It's the home of the Clippers here in Los Angeles as 2K Sports presents our action live from the Staples Center. With Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, I'm Kevin Harlan, bringing you the NBA Live on 2K Sports, along with Doris Burke, who will be joining us courtside moments from now. And now, the New York Knicks starters. Mello is the three, and Murray is at the four. Cole yeah, I'm not stopping that. The one and, the two. and it's D'Alembert in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started, and a better job finishing it off. Here's Redick. Goes up again. And one. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. That rebound and the follow kind of typify what he's all about. Just gritty, determined play. Oh, hell no. Jordan alongside Blake Griffin, maybe the best game dunker in the league. He has the ability to make spectacular plays every time he gets near the rim. The shot by oh, you're going to. A lot. Most of the time, that shot Oh my god, I'm on stream. I need to stop well, that. Defenders have to make sure they tag. Smith with it. Guarded now by Barnes. And the jam by like, I need to figure that out before I actually make an account to stream with. Time. Because yeah, I don't want to make an account and it turns out you actually have to have people yes, donate. Because like I don't know the odds of me getting a hundred donates within ten hours. That was embarrassing. Well, when you talk about vocal leaders among NBA players, you'd have to put Chris Paul right at the top of the list. Always talking, a coach on the floor, but also makes his teammates better. And you know, Chris Paul is what looks to be a natural leader. You take a look at him being elected the president of the NBA's Players Union. I think that indicates the respect he has on both sides of the aisle, with his peers, but also with those in management as well. Highly respected, not only because of his performance, but because of his character as well. To the right side. And Reddick kicks to Paul. Out to the right wing. And here's Barnes for three. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Well, he was boxed out, and when that happens, you know, you, some point you have to just turn and get back defensively. That time he went right over. Like, nobody's top. been able to give me adva advice on it. I've asked people. I've asked the, um, that, the guy that's streaming with NASCAR, because I really wanted to help out with NASCAR. I felt like if I did it with NASCAR, I wouldn't really have to worry about it. Oh my God, my, Paul, my English. Not shy about voicing his opinion, Steve, when it comes to Clippers' decisions in the front office. No, but that's healthy, you know, particularly with his relationship with Doc Rivers. So, you know, Paul was instrumental in acquiring uh, Barnes and Jamal Crawford. And, you know, look, uh, when you have you a know star this. player, you should go to him for advice occasionally. Calderon has the open look. Here's Stoudemire. Another shot. And it's good on the way up. Another nice what did I tell you, Bay? They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively. No so teasing. Yeah, I think that could really set things up well the rest of the game. Pound the ball inside and let, let your perimeter players play off your big. Got you. Reddick with the three. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. All right, I need to put Crawford suffer. in. What a crisp pass to find his open teammate. Clippers trail by four doubled by Smith Paul kicks to Reddick the Clippers keep it alive second shot opportunity he takes it up and lays it in he was the first one to react to that miss excellent anticipation on his part 
A hustle play on the putback by him. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Go, Blake Griffin! Out of bounds, next ball as New York keeps possession of it. That was just mean. That pass to stop it from getting through. Well, that was a good job. It could have been a quick bucket if he doesn't knock it out of bounds. There. And the Clippers making a switch here. Crawford's checked in. You can't put a body up on Crawford. Just four to shoot. He had his back to the basket for over five. That'll be a turnover. That's a turnover? Steve right from the start last season. Some upheaval for the one. Knicks with a front office shape. Yeah, surprising move when you consider that the team was coming off a 54-win season in 2013. And the team's first second round appearance in over a decade. And for the Knicks coaching staff last season, you think Let's about see if guys, I can get another rage quit. The GM who hired you no longer with the organization. And ownership basically saying championship or bust. A lot of different pressure coming uh, from different sources in the Knicks situation. Are you all right? Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. Back to Paul. Ball's knocked loose. And now the fast break, Anthony with the ball. Takes it up with oh, I'm glad that you can't do that replay rough Guys, stuff that you used to be able to. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they want to be aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Calderon kicks to Anthony. And that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. Rebound is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. Yeah, it's a physical game, and so far the numbers show that they've got the edge on the glass. Kicks to Crawford. And it's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. On the inbound. Oh! Wow. How about the excitement right now that he's playing the game with? I love it. He can't that Oh my god, I quit. I quit. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna quit. He got a buzzer beater, I got he got me. There's the buzzer and not much scoring at all through the first quarter of play. I don't even know if you saw that. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. And off we go, a close game, now starting the second quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Knicks? And that first quarter was all about pace, guys, because this club really got out into transition, and that's how they built this lead. They like to play fast, and they're doing a nice job filling the lane. They've got Spencer Hawes. Davis is out there with Chris Douglas Roberts. And it's Crawford, and it's Farmar, and it's the one spot. They're the group out there for the Clippers starting the second quarter. Clippers trail by three. You know, Borgnani, generally a pretty, pretty reserved guy overall, tends to go about his business, but there were moments last year where he got teed up for talking trash, and he's got some firing. You know, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And I would continue to do it. Force the defense to maybe send a double team. Now you've got other options to work with offensively. Yes. Smith with it. Picked up by Davis. Early. The you have, do you have room to talk? Good. Smith's got four yes. points this quarter. And I remember that play we were talking about with Bargnani, Clark. He got into it with Kevin Garnett, of all people, and got the tech in the process. You know, he definitely will play with fire at times. And, you know, to get a tech talking to KG, of all people, who's a known trash talker, one of the best in the history of the league, people see Bargnani as, and think he just... Ah, money! Nonchalant, but I think there's a fire inside of that guy mm -hmm. that um, the Knicks would like to see more often. And Prigioni kicks to Smith. 
I really don't like the fact that this guy keeps pausing it every time he makes a shot. It's kind of, it's quite annoying. How many of these are we gonna have? I don't know, Steve, but the momentum of this game is certainly swung like a pendulum. JJ Reddick's checked in for the Clippers. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Yes, Kevin. Chris Paul, as you know, has accomplished so much in the NBA, but he's ready for that ultimate prize. As Paul said, that's the only thing that matters now. At this point in my career, I'm only focused on what did you say? Because that's where you make your name, and that's where you make your imprint on history. He's looking to add to that wonderful legacy, guys. You're retarded. He certainly is. Thanks, Doris. Oh, you can see that desire on the court. He's so focused. Why the fuck Chance is this? There to take the lead, missing. Smith, the pass to Earl. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that yes, time. Jason Smith. Early's got the lead up to four now for New York. Seems Fuck like on the ground. Heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. You know, one story that didn't get a lot of press last season. Two days after the Bledsoe trade had been given the go-ahead, the ownership tried to back out of it. The trade was already public news, and Doc Rivers actually threatened to quit uh, before their ownership backed down. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And for J.J. Redick, that shakeup must have been tough. His contract with the Clippers was contingent on the trade. And Kevin reported me Doc Rivers leaned on ownership pretty hard, saying, hey, I shook hands on this. Don't make me look bad here. Our reputation's at stake. It all worked out, but a reminder of the Clippers' rather dysfunctional past. Mm -hmm. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Hawks. Griffin comes in for Glenn Davis. Barnes, he's checked in for Chris Douglas Roberts. And it's Paul in for Jordan Farma. And Shepard kicks to early. He only dishes to Bargnani. There's the pass to early. Screen by Smith. Pass to Prigioni. Off one. See, I'm about to freak out. I saw a bug on my bed. It jumped on me. I don't know where it is. Like that at all, man. It's creepy. It ain't funny. Oh, both of y'all can kick my butt. I don't like bugs, man. And it, the fact that he jumped on me and I don't know where it went. You and dogs, you included. It ain't funny. I don't like that shit, man. Especially when I don't know what kind of bug it was. With this three. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I thought so too, Clark. Here's Paul. And again, no good by the Clippers. And here we go. Shumpert running it up the court. Offensive rebound. Oh, back. you're laughing at me too? And the layup is good. Really not hard to the see message from earlier no points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, I mean, they're just getting pounded in there. The defense not offering much resistance. They've got to force the ball back out. To the I got it. You know, it's interesting to look at the relationship between Blake. Okay, Blake fuck you, Gogs. It ain't funny. Until CP3 arrived three seasons ago, and Paul, of course, such a vocal leader. I think it's taken them some time to find the. And see, I know this guy can't be cheating. But and the fact that he pauses it every time get into I try to take a like shot. Paul does, but he is becoming more of a vocal leader, and that's a process, guys. It doesn't happen right away. He may focus more on encouragement rather than giving marching orders like CP3, but he is embracing that leadership role, which is a good sign. They've really been active here around the boards in the second. I mean, it's very impressive the way they've gotten to that offensive line. 
Kiss my ass, Gogs. See, I refuse to rage quit, but if I... I know my phone's reading. No one around him. Hands it from downtown. No. Got eight points. They my job to answer that phone. Smith drives in. Smith missing again. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just clanks the open jumper. Barnes kicks the ball. Squid like a 12-year-old. You know what? I am 20 years old. I can say this. If it is a bug that I don't know what it is, whether it be a stink bug, a... It's mainly just stink bugs. I just don't like them fuckers. And that's the reason I kind of flipped out, because I think it was a stink bug, because it was flying before. I don't like them. I'm down by nine. Oh, shit. Look at Chris Paul. And you're going to take it, little Gregory, girl. We've said this many times before, but I'll say it again. He had a great first half, just an explosive uh, offensive display there. At the end of the day, I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half he had. He can usually keep it going for all four quarters. Setting the four for the Knicks. Carmelo Anthony and Amari Stoudemire, they're inside. Come on, Shepard is out there with J.R. Smith, and it's Hardaway. In a, a Russian cockroach. A, sp a stink bug? Sideline reporter Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Hey, Kevin. Well, Coach Doc Rivers certainly hasn't minced words since joining the Clippers. He's held each player accountable and defined roles. He told DeAndre Jordan he wouldn't run any plays for him. That he just wanted this guy to literally pauses defense. it every time Jordan he does a dunk, and it's really annoying. Reach people. There are egos on every team. And he knows how to control all of that. It's honesty. Refreshing, gentlemen. Champion with the Celtics. He's one of the best coaches in the league. Thanks, Doris. Well, you can't leave him alone. Oh, my God. He keeps doing it. It's annoying. Wow. That was unbelievable. Look at that. How about that? Look at that. I don't have roaches, the man. The decide to take their first time out here. And last time I checked, roaches can't fly. Mari Stoudemire still an efficient score attacking the rim. The problems have been at the defensive end of the floor where last season he fouled four times more than he blocked a shot. Not a great ratio. So he's got to continue to work defensively. Shumpert, no good. That's really too easy a chance to miss, guys. He needs to be more aggressive and focused. On everyone has roaches. You just don't know yeah, it. I really right doubt that everyone in the world has roaches. For this team. Nice shot by and if we do, I, okay, I'll admit that I do live in a basement, but I really doubt we do. We keep our house really clean. Still a great score, but as we discussed, he's got to defend at a better level. And rebound at a higher rate to command more minutes on this team and we'll see if he can make that happen outside Hardaway with the everyone just has everyone has roaches to just turn up I really don't believe that man Barnes kicks to Crawford bounces high off the rim and drops Crawford's got seven points for the quarter and he should thank the defense for those two points, really. Nobody paid him any mind there. Beautiful ball movement again. Last five trips, they've all ended with a great pass, leading to a basket, Steve. I mean, they are really sharing the basketball. Oh, oh boy, he is just cold as ice. I don't think he's going to be the one to help them cut into the lead. Smith, the pass to Hardaway. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. So are you pretty different from his father, Tim Senior, of course, famed for his two-step, two step, otherwise. <laughs> See Gogs, you just made me really creeped out just now. 
the fact that roaches can fly now that, and you just showed me that it's kind of I'm kind of creeped out now and I really hope it, I pray to god it wasn't a roach I fucking god that ain't even funny man. known as the killer crossover and, and junior is a, is a different game he is a different game but he's going to have an effective and long career Senior was also only a six foot point guard. Junior is a six six shooter. By the way, anything you just said in chat, I did not get. Handles, junior, I'm speaking of. He's more of a long range bombardier thus far. And also, I think, has the potential to be pretty good defensively going forward. Well, that's not been a typical possession for them in this first half. You know, for the most part, they've been pretty smart with the ball. Dude, you got me creeped out. See, I'm glad I got bug spray in my room. But I mean, see, that now you got me worried. Because my neighbors has roaches. And it wouldn't be the first time that I found one and I had to kill it. My neighbors have had roaches and they, can, and they get into my room because, of course, I'm in the basement. But I know damn well I ain't got no roaches because I keep my room too clean. I'm in a, but again, I'm in a basement. He has six. Griffin inside. Anthony on him. Griffin can't get it to go in. Outside Anthony. The three ball. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, they were uh, very lucky defensively because there was some miscommunication there. They left him wide open. With floor spacing, Steve, more important than ever in today's NBA, some have questioned the pairing of but. Griffin and Jordan in the Clipper front court. Well, I think it's worked out just fine. I think they could add a stretch for Yeah, but when we saw it, we called an exterminator right away, and we hadn't seen one for years. All in all, Griffin and Jordan have played awfully well together at both ends of the floor. The defense has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Well, I'd like to know how many of their attempts have come from inside five feet. It, it seems like everything is right at the rim. Redick, a good look. Bunnix pull it in. Anthony's got three rebounds so far in the game. And for the Clippers, their most potent offensive weapon is Chris Paul coming off the pick and roll and attacking with great ball handling skills and vision. We want to create space for that, so... Defense more often than not will look to bring help from the front court, and that's when things really open up for Paul in terms of his options. Hardaway gets to Anthony. That drops right, and it babe. comes off the assist from Hardaway. And it's seven points for Carmelo Anthony. There's Crawford with the three. Knocked away. Then See, thanks to him, you thanks a lot, Gox. And now you got me so self-conscious. Once I end this stream, I'm about to clean up my room so well it's gonna bother me. All right, baby, I won't call you B A E, even though from in my eyes it means before everything. CP3 at point with Reddick there in the backcourt. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. I don't know why you hate it. It just means in my eyes. Before. Dude, I'm not even good at basketball. I'll admit it. I suck at basketball. I just get lucky. I'm just having fun with a game that I got for free. And that assist earned him a little nod from his teammate after the basket. The drive by Smith. Dallenberg. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Mom's basement, wow. This is a place I own since the place that my mom has been in jail for years. Let's see, I don't see why you have such a problem. I wasn't even talking shit to you. And last season, Dallin Bear, a, a bit of a stopgap for Dallas. He faced his share of critiques from Coach Carlin regarding conditioning Clark and focus. In addition to that, somewhat turnover prone <sighs> too, Kevin. You All can right. pick up careless fouls as well. But when you're an athletic 6'11 and can make free throws and finish around the basket, 
And you always have a home in the NBA. Barnes dishes to Reddit. And the three ball is good. You know, he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the defense. Smith in the post. Defended by Griffin. Smith, no good. Well contested shot there. And that's the key defensively. You've got to make him work for a challenge every shot. Well, since we hit half number two, he's finally come around. The first half was not his best, obviously. A shot by Dallenbeer, no good. Clippers trailed by four. Here's Griffin. And you want to talk shit, and hard. now I'm going to play serious. Well, when they desperately needed to get things turned around, they were able to do it and claw their way back in. And they fed off their defense just as much as their offense is putting this run together. And taking a quick look here at the hustle steps for the Clippers. Their activity at the defensive end, Kevin, has been really impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. I mean, they've really run the break well. Clippers have gotten every shot they've taken so far in the fourth quarter to go in. That's five in a row to start the quarter. And a fast break now for the Knicks. Early misses. Well, he defended the shot, got back in the play, and grabbed the board. Nice play. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. Calderon against Griffin. Calderon passes to Dallin Bay. And no good. The try spell continuing for him. Smith again. It's Jordan. Now here's Barnes. Tight defense on him. And here is Los Angeles now. Shot clock at six. It's stolen by Smith. And pushing it up. Here's New York. Calderon, that's good. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Knicks? Their high energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with oh. more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. And another thing they're doing is really taking advantage of fast break opportunities and scoring some easy baskets. Yeah. Looks like he was trying to go for a degree of difficulty points on that shot. Los Angeles calls timeout. J.J. Reddick. A different look for New York. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Kevin, Doc Rivers was just addressing the plan with his team. He told the guys that for now, he wants to see them back off the three-point shot, saying all our offense doesn't need to come from perimeter jump shots. Let's get the ball inside for some high-percentage looks. D2 from Crawford. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got his fifth assist in this one. Anthony drives in, and he converts the layup. And the Knicks lead by four. It is so hard to contain. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. Crawford against Smith. Crawford kicks to Paul. Misses the three. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball. It's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that. Well, his shot's been off today. No question. He's not the guy they're going to want to look to if they want to keep this lead where it is. Here's Barnes. It's in! And he has brought them to within two points. Ooh, a pressure basket right there. Now that's coming through in the clutch. It's not a Money! What an offensive force Stoudemire can be. And it's Paul penetrating. Here's the block.
That'll drop your jaw. You have got to be kidding me. Clark, talk about taking things in your own hands. Did you get an assist and a field goal for that? I mean, that was ridiculous. New York's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And the jam by Stoudemire. Beautiful lead pass there. He let his teammate run right underneath it. Time running low here. They need to oh, are you kidding me? That was a power yes, punch right yeah. there. Oh, great. Nasty. Absolutely filthy. And the building is stunned, partner. He dug deep into his bag of tricks there. I hope he keeps that one handy. I want to see that again. Well, it's a wrap, fellas. There's no way you come back in this one. Not anymore. Any chance of that happening went out the window a while ago. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're down by seven. 16 seconds left in the game. Guys, what's your take? Well, they can call timeouts all they want, but it's not going to do a whole lot of good at this point. Yeah, this one's about down. The on the There's nothing they can do to change this one. 16 seconds left in the fourth. Farmar, no good. Here comes Shepard. Into Stoudemire. Got him with the punt fake, but couldn't finish. D. Altizer. Yeah. D. Altizer, are you draining Altizer? I'm sorry. Um, come pick me up. I will go jog on the because I need to. I need to go there before I can go to bed. All All time. I really think it's draining it, but from school, oh my god. We'll see Los Angeles taking on the Washington Wizards. We're all set to bring you NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan, joined as always by Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. So off the tip, it's Washington's ball. Here are the five for the Clippers. Crawford and Barnes filling out the wings. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. And it's Paul in at the one spot. Paul Pierce, a 16-year veteran, and last season his first not in a Celtics uniform. It took some getting used to, both for him and for us. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely, I mean... That's what you call early offense. Now he's one of the best in the league when it comes to executing that lead pass. And here's Crawford. To the right side. The 19-foot shot. No good off the back of the rim. 
Good, tough defense there, getting a hand up, forcing that miss. Well, he's got the reputation of being a tough defender, and there was an example right there for him. Wall, that's now. Well, some weak defensive coverage there, and I'm pretty sure they didn't plan on starting this game out like that, giving such easy access to the rim. Two points. That one goes. Count it. Here's Wall. Tipped away. Oh, and here we go. Crawford all alone. And he gets it to go. And here on the first, closing in on two minutes play. Paul again. Shit. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his first foul. First team foul. And Washington has possession. Out left to the wing. Porter with it. Guarded now by Barnes. And it's scored top, finishing it off. Up and in with force after the offensive rebound. I like that tenacity. Yeah, he is so sturdy. He just battles for every rebound. The runner in deep. Paul drops it in. Four or five shots have dropped for them already. Not a bad way to get things started. Clippers started out as a good team last year, but they never seemed to be content with what they had. They added vet after vet as the season progressed and really made some nice additions. And it's the Clippers with the ball after the basket by Washington. And the Clippers' jump was a big help for him in the first round as the bench provided, I thought, Clark, a good punch for him against the Golden State Warriors. true, but they just didn't have enough in the tank to get by the Thunder in that second round of the playoffs and what was really, I thought, an entertaining back-and-forth series. I need to do that, Gogs, but I can't do that. I, I promise this will be my last game on And, like, at the moment, I can't even find any armor that'll give me any light or anything. Here's Barnes. And count it from 19 feet away. Barnes has got six. For Washington. The fuck? Gone four of seven from the field, shooting over 50%. Beal gets a wide open hook. And good coming off the assist by Hall. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. Knocks it loose. Porter with the steal. Beal gets a wide open look and unable there to get the go ahead bucket. The Clippers have gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. From downtown, that doesn't go either for Beal. A poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. The alley oop is such a fun play to watch, but when it doesn't convert, it's uh, probably the wrong choice. I guess that makes that one a terrible choice. They need to add a, a trade system to the game of Destiny. And I'm agreeing with you there. Once they open the lane up for him, that was a little emphasis on that finish. Take what the defense gives you and then just power it home, right? Why not? Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Nene, he's checked in for Gortat. Humphreys comes in for Porter. And Andre Miller is subbed in for John Wall. Well, Jordan Farmar spent a season playing in Turkey on a lucrative contract, but missed the NBA. And he came back to his hometown of L.A. last season playing with his old team, the Lakers. Now settled in with their crosstown rivals, the Clippers. Clippers have gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. It's Beal on the wing. Well, you saw it a little at the back of his rookie year, and he continued it last season. Brad Beal is going to be a dynamic scoring guard. Dude, I haven't gotten anything legendary except for my damn sniper. Everything else is just regular, rare. About a year ago, they converted about 78%. And, like, I've been level 22 for the longest, and it pisses me off. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. 
D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Pause with the block. Dishes to Davis. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. That'll put Glenn Davis on the line. It's on the name. The Clippers shooting their third free throw attempt. Of the I found one Earth near the... This, I found another loot cave the in the game. deep, like, I can't, where the, um, Fallen and the Hive are fighting each other. And it's right there. But even though I be farming for four hours, I get nothing good. Lots of room. And it comes off the front of the rim. Boy, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. Because I don't know any other loot caves and, like, And now the second quarter just getting set to start. It's another six second farm unless they patch that, but then they unless they patch that loot K just recently, it still doesn't help though. Unless there's more. Cause the game pisses me off how you can kill a boss and get nothing. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And I'm mad how the game is nothing but DLC. I forgot. I thought there was going to be more stories to the game, honestly. And it's Webster. Then there's Rene. And it's Humphreys in a power forward. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris. Well, Kevin, there is no question that Chris Paul has been a leader wherever he's gone. He demands a lot from his teammates, but they respect his passion. Paul has no time for anyone who feels they don't need to work. He doesn't like guys who take things for granted. Certainly not someone to rest on his laurels, gentlemen. Holding everyone accountable, Doris. Thanks. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. Griffin attacking. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a... Team trying hard to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A, a big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark? Right? Well, Damn. The questions are about now. It's their defense. That's for sure. It's Webster outside. Well contested shot. And they did an excellent job of not fouling the shooter. Defense is about effort and commitment and discipline. He's a good defender because of those things. Outside Griffin. Ooh. Oh, where's the replay when you need it? Look out below. Blake Griffin, arguably the top posterizer in the game. Opponents don't like being embarrassed. And they'll take a hard, hard foul on him if need be. Some have said that Griffin needs to retaliate for his own well-being. He's got to go back at some of those guys. And the Wizards are going with a whole new group out there. Uh -huh. The defense needs to play tight on him, and that's exactly what they did to force that miss. Well done. Here's Wall. And that one's good. Wall's got six points. And Griffin has said he thought about retaliating for the hard fouls, but he said, Steve, you know, it might be best for me, but getting suspended would be very bad for my team. I, he had his head on straight, obviously. Well, yeah, credit him for, you know, trying to keep his cool and not get caught then up. Then I don't know what to do, guys, because, I mean, you know, I get tired of And since they took street, rid of, they got rid of the Queen's missions already, so I don't know what to do. And I'm not a multiplayer fan to do what they got, the House of Banners, the Iron Banner, or whatever it's called. Pierce kicks the wall. And taken away by Paul. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. What a pass. And then the layup was a bit of a circus move. Oh, so smooth. Well, you know what? He could have fouled that up going for the big slam. I thought that was a nice job just taking the layup. That's his second personal foul. And another foul will give him three before the half. Something to keep our eyes on. Oh, how about that basketball, man? Wow. You know, 
know, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult while they're trailing. Yeah, but still, you know what? A magnificent move to the rim. Agreed. Guys, I, look, I don't know what the score is. That's the play we're all going to remember from this game. Score time. And he dunks it down. You know, he can be a little awkward with the ball sometimes when it's in his hands, but not that time. What the hell? The thing is, we don't see more of those out of him, Steve. I don't know. I mean, he's certainly got the size. He just lacks the confidence, I think, sometimes near the basket. And he's shaking off a poor first quarter shooting effort. He's really starting to turn it on now, guys. Wizards forced their way into the playoffs last year, but they could have been a lot better at home as they left a lot of wins on the table last season. Now here's Wall. No luck. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boards. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. John Wall is becoming very efficient running the pick and roll. He's got a nice pull up from the right elbow if the defender decides to sag off or go under the screen. And if they play up on him, he can blow right by him. So because of his finishing ability, that's a tough cover. And Los Angeles with some changes. And so John Wall nails both of them. And Wall has some good big men to work with running that pick and roll. Nene, very mobile. Steve, a great finisher. Yeah, and of course, Marcin Gortat spent a couple of years running the pick and roll with Steve Nash in Phoenix. So, you know, he's had some pointers for Wall, too. All in all, you love to see the chemistry that has developed between all those players. Shit. You know, coming into the playoffs, a lot of people dismissed the Wizards because they were playing a more seasoned team during the playoffs but the Wizards actually as you look at their roster yep they changed the charge shit players that were playoff tested and it's Gortat finishing it off well as far as the defense goes Clark that is not what's going to keep them in this league yeah but from the other perspective you can see just how much that dunk pumped those players up oh yeah yeah I agree guys I sense a, a little bit of a momentum shift here and the basket by Douglas Roberts a little confusion defensively. Yeah, you know what? He sent the D a little message with that three. It's Wall with the drop. And that one's good by Gortat. Intelligent passing there to make that hoop possible. Here's Farmar. No good from outside. And here's Porter. Wall wide open. And the Wizards getting another bucket right there. Not what they drew up, but they'll take the two points. Reddick for three. That misses would have counted had it gone in. That'll do it for the first half. Flipper. I got 12 minutes left, all right? Because we've been playing nonstop. It's not a six-minute. It's a six-minute game per quarter. So 12 minutes, all right? Exceptional performance from John Wall. Well, in terms of his points in the first half, I mean, that's pretty much what we've come to expect out of him. Yeah, that's an open book on all you need to know about what talent he has. I'll bet he adds a lot more to that tally in the second half. Getting underway in the second he half, here's the five for Jack Rivers. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. Crawford and Barnes filling out the wings. And it's Paul in at the point guard. Now here's Wall. He kicks it to Gortat. And stolen by Jordan. Tried to make that interior pass, but it wasn't there. Crawford outside. Three-pointer. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. While they're winning the speed game, guys, getting out in transition. Boy, I like the energy they play with offensively and in the open court. Tremendous flow. Knocked away and taken away by Paul. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kevin, when Doc Rivers came to the Clippers, he wanted to shift their image from a Showtime team to a true contender. Lake Griffin said, Lob City is done. 
And while the Clippers still make highlight reel plays with the best of them, Rivers has brought a seriousness and a focus to this team as they pursue an NBA championship. Guys? Rivers has said lots are great, but winning is better. They're trying to get them both, Joyce. Boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. Clippers leading by nine. Well, the Wizards signed John Wall to that max contract extension last season, and he rewarded them. He made his first All-Star game appearance and led the team back to the playoffs for the first time in six seasons. Wall draws the double. Looking for Gortat, he gets it there. And he finishes with the dunk! Up high and down hard with the one hand. Got a little extra force for that one, didn't he? Yes, know, sir. I think he's hoping to kind of get his teammates going a little bit, fellas. And Wall finally adding a consistent three-pointer to his arsenal last season. He shot almost four threes a game and made them at a 35% clip. Well, the drive to the bucket was nice, but how about the finger roll finish? Beautiful. Wall draws the double. Gorge out inside. And stolen by Jordan. And even three on three break. Offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Paul. Paul can't get that one to fall. Wizards trail by nine. Here's the lob to the hoop. Archin Gorchak again. She's just too tall for his own good. Gorchak's got 16. Eight of the last 10 points at that end of the court have been scored on very high percentage shots in the paint. Man, it's not necessarily strategic, Clark. It's just a matter of playing with more heart. You gotta play hard, guys. And Steve, defenders can't just go under on screens any longer defending John Wall. Yeah, that outside shot keeps defenders honest, and it opens up driving angles and passing lanes for John Wall, who's one of the most explosive players in the league. And that one's good. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. I just love the mentality they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing anything. They're moving it side to side and working to get a good shot. Clippers leading by 10. And that one's good, Barnes. Back-to-back -back threes for him. The defense is slacking off a little. It does look like their energy is lacking. It's oh, oh, so it's either Wall or Gortat scoring. Down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he pulled it off. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe this is the best time to do it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, now's when they need a little spark anyway. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. Here's Farmar. And another three for the Clippers. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. That was the ninth straight point from behind the arc, Clark. It feels like they've, they're finding the holes in this defense. Beal can't get it to go. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one Shit. down with ease. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Wizards will retain possession. Now, He's that sleeping. Pass had just a little bit too much heat on it for him to make a clean steal. Yeah, I think it would have been a tough catch for either of them. It's Wall with the drive. And that one's good by Pierce. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. It's 12 straight points coming off three pointers. I mean, somebody do something defensively. Well, I, I agree with you. I mean, who's going to step up? Uh, they're rolling out there now, so you got to get in their chest, make them uncomfortable, and try to deny those looks. Douglas Roberts passed to Davis. Farmar, no good. Wizards trail by 15. Pierce for three. And it's good. Pierce has got five. 20 seconds left to play in the third. Reddick with the three. And here we go again. Wizards in transition. Up the court they go. The second effort. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Deflects the pass. The shot is off. 
And here at the end of the third quarter. Oh, she fell asleep. Wizard shooting at 50% in a decent group. Beal teams up with Pierce in the perimeter. Chris Humphreys is up there with Mene. And it's Miller in at the one. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. Elevates and powers in. Ah, textbook. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't go overboard and try to do too much. It's really hard to decide, guys, which was better. The pass, the catch, or the slam. Clark, there's no wrong answer to that one, my friend. <laughs> Sensational alley-oop all the way around. <laughs> all of the above. Confident and composed what the three fuck? shot at a critical juncture. Clutch. Pierce wide open. He fires. Goes back up. Humphreys with the bucket. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Wizards. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And another thing they're doing is really taking advantage of pass break on Wow. Within minutes. They have gotten themselves back into this game just in the nick of time. If that run had come any later, it would have been too late. But they're not all the way where they need to be yet, Steve. They've got to keep pushing through. For the Wizards. Okay, yeah. Webster comes in for Paul Pierce. And Garrett Temple subbed in for Beal. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Guys, over that last break, I listened to Doc Rivers address his team. With the game still up for grabs, he simply told us, guys, we're right there. Stay focused, execute, and get it done. Kevin, let's see how it plays out. Thanks, Doris. Miller. And that one's good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and keep scoring points. Keep it going. Yeah, not a lot you can do defensively when they continue to get the ball inside and get these easy shots. Here's Washington. They've got a 13-2 run going. Knocks it loose. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Wizards will retain possession. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. And the Wizards lead by one. Boy, I tell you what, nice little run here they're going on. Now the story is points in the paint, Clark. I mean, they're getting point-blank shots every time down. Humphreys, no good. Now he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. 
game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. Absolutely. I mean, six lead changes here so far. Steve, exciting stuff. Yeah, I know this is a fun game to watch. Which team can kind of uh, extend a lead and make a, a couple of big plays here try to seize momentum? We'll see. I think it just got a little hotter in here, Cam. What an exchange. I like that, though, Clark. That's what this game's all about. Well, they're going to tear these rims down, guys. I mean, how about a jump shot or two? And the Wizards with possession. They're on a 17-6 run. And Washington going with a whole new group here. That's tipped. Field this is the wall. He feeds it to the goal time. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D. I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here. Because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. What a stellar outing in this one for Crawford. 15 points, and he's been delivering a healthy dose of helpers, too. Yeah, he really is. He's always looking to make the passes. Head up, eyes up, trying to find the open teammate. He's just got such a smooth stroke, and it never changes, even in this kind of high-pressure situation. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Yeah, and actually still too close to call. I mean, this one is tight. This could be an instant classic, fellas. I mean, this thing has all the looks of a game that's going to go right down to the last shot. The three from Barnes. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got six rebounds now in the game. It's Wall with the drive. Here's wide open. He fires. No good with the triple. LA's gone ice cold from three point land, 0 of 4 since the start of the final quarter. Washington's gotten just one of four three pointers to go down for them here on the fourth. Cuts! He wasn't able to get his name in the score sheet in the first half, but he looks like he's starting to find his comfort zone here. Paul kicks to Barnes. It's three on three on the fast break. Cuts! Beautiful work in the transition game. That's how to do it. Attack early before the defense can get itself set. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're behind by five. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? They need to get a quick bucket here. If there's more than 24 seconds left afterwards, they can try for a stop. If there's less, they'll have to foul. Spencer Hawes has checked in for Los Angeles. Douglas Roberts comes in for Blake Griffin. Absolutely critical chance right here. Yeah, they need this one to go their way, Kelly. A crucial basket. They needed it, and he gave it to them. We've got 28 seconds left to the fourth quarter. Ball passes to Gorton. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Kevin, they still got a foul to give at this point. Yeah, strategy uh, wouldn't be bad to, to use it here if they need to. Still a chance, but they've got to score here. Yeah, every possession is necessary. Pierce is all busy. You can see it in his eyes. And the Clippers call time here. They're losing by one. 11 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's what's your take. Well, and you've got the luxury here of running a play, so you want to do something that you're very comfortable with. Absolutely, Steve. I mean, no need to panic whatsoever. I mean, they're in a very good spot right here. That's some tenacity inside, battling for the second chance point. So it's Los Angeles taking the W in a close one. Well, they don't get much more exciting than that, Clark. They sure don't. Good game, man. Good game. Time, this team kept their composure, kept their emotions in check, and got it done. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew. My God, that was too fucking close. That had me on the edge. <sighs> oh my God, I got him.
baby. What if? It's a simple question, but it raises so many. Skip. More. What if? Skip. I had stayed in LA. How many championships okay. could we have won? PlayStation. What if the Pistons had drafted Carmelo Anthony? What if Kevin Durant was drafted number one overall in the 2007 draft? What if? Steph Curry slipped one more draft spot to the Knicks. But what if you could make the decisions? What if you were down 3-0 in the finals? Could you build a team to mount the greatest comeback of all time? What if you had the opportunity to create any lineup for any game? What if you could choose players from any era to build the greatest team of all time? How would you answer Welcome to my team. Yeah. 